Hello, I'm Tom, and I recently put out a free contact instrument. I've just been learning how to do that, so I just thought I'd put one up in a shared Dropbox folder so people can try it. Um, so as it's a contact instrument, it won't... Um, you do really need the full version of contact to do it, but you can run it in a 15-minute demo within Contact Player. So I, I just wanted to do a quick Reaper video to show um, how you can get around some of those limitations and also show how you can use Reaper to control and um, automate it and render it out when you're recording. So if you just copy the three files in the Dropbox folder from the description in the demo over to wherever you want them. So I've just got them in my documents in Contact Libraries free. And then, the one, and then you go to the File menu and the one you want to do is um, just the NKI folder. So you'll see a little keyboard next to it. Double click that and then it comes up. And you'll see this is in demo mode. So I've only got 15 minutes, so I have to be quick anyway. And then once you've loaded it once, you can just load it again from here. It will just show up and under load recent. So there. OK, so I'll just give you a quick look on this and then I'll show you how you can get around some of the limitations if you don't have the full contact version and also how to automate it and how to record that automation and then render it out. So just click it on here and I'll just show you what it is. So although it's a contact instrument, which is a sampler, there's no samples in it. It's just a wavetable instrument. So you can move between the different wavetables from the runic symbols. So if your runic is a bit rusty, just play about with it and click on them, see what they do. And then these controls here, um, to do various other changes and effects to it. So um, say the simplest one would just be dirt, which is just like a distortion, like a star distortion. And then you've got a special magic button in the middle. So I'll just play you a little bit. And then if you switch to different wavetable, and then say just put the distortion or dirt on actually these are all on so I'll turn these off this is off if they're up this way but then you turn it up the other way and it becomes more evil OK, so first thing is rather than just moving about the mouse, the better thing to do is if you right click on it, do learn MIDI. I mean, on my little keyboard, I've just got some knobs on there and you can just click that and then you can just move one around and then it will assign it to it automatically. So there you go. Now I've just assigned that to a knob on there. So that's the first thing. Now, if you want to record the automation, you can't do it in the same way um, you can do with most VSTs. So in most VSTs, all the buttons will just automatically show up here. But if you've got a contact instrument, it will just show up like a load of random numbers like that. So what you have to do is, I'll just show the full view again, is you go to Automation, choose one of them, drag it across, and then you'll see it's assigned it to magic dungeon zips for magic button. So then what you can do is this will show up here. Magic. So you can select it for automation. And then I want to just um, write to it. So normally it will be on trim read by default. Um, I could have put it on write, but then after I've done it, you need to remember to turn it back to switch to trim read. So I'll just do a few random notes and then just see if it's recording. And so I'll record a few notes and a bit of automation as well. OK, so I'll just play this back. So remember, I've only got 15 minutes to do this. So I'll just see if it's coming back. OK, 
Okay, so that's working. So what I'm going to do now is to get around the limits. Once you've recorded something, you don't know when it's going to cut off, so that makes it a bit useless. But if you've got something and you're happy with it, so rather than just having to keep shutting contacts and opening it up again, what you can do is you right click on the actual track with the MIDI and then you do apply track and take effects as new take and then this will render it as audio so you can then save it and you don't have to worry about timing out. So I'll just do that. Okay, you can see it going now. So now you can see it's turned up as an audio effect. So I'm going to turn this off. So now a contact, but I'll turn it off altogether. No. So I'm just going to shut it. Okay, so that's not there at all. And now I'll play it just to show you what I mean. Okay, so that's it. So that's a good trick, not just for this instrument, but with any instrument, which is a full version of Contact. And you're, if you've only got Contact Player, this is a bit of a workaround for it as well. So, um, yeah, so you can record all the automation. If you want to record the other buttons, you just set up other tracks for it. You just move these ones across to whatever the control is, and then you go here, and then they'll, sh then they'll show up. They'll show up in here and then you just give them a name and then you can move them across and then at the end of it you just render it out to audio and then you can save it and you haven't got to worry about the contact player timing out so yeah so check out the actual proper demo for the dungeon synth um you can just download it for free from the dropbox copy it across and play about with it have fun with it um thanks for watching cheers bye